मुझे बहुत ऐसे अड़चन होने लग गई कि दैट हमारे लिए अलग खाना आ रहा है हमारे लिए छाता आ रहा है वो जो सारा जो ताम झाम एक एक्टर के साथ आता है मैं कहना रियलाइज ये मेरे बस का नहीं है I had those offers also. जिसमें आपकी इमेज बदल जाएगी पीपल ऑलमोस्ट थॉट दैट मज भी साव ग्रेप्स मिलता नहीं होगा डार्क हैं और फिर अभी ऐसे रोल के लिए आपको थोड़ा स्किन लाइट करना पड़ेगा बिकॉज यू नो पीपल एक्सेप्ट नहीं करते हैं रिलेशनशिप्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑनेस्टी फॉर मी इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट दैन कीपिंग अ फासिकल आई नो लॉट्स ऑफ दोज रिलेशनशिप जो अभी भी शादी दे आर इन दर मैरिजेस बट वॉट काइंड ऑफ रिलेशनशिप्स दे हैव नंदिता दास यू नीड नो इंट्रोडक्शन फॉर ई टाइम्स व्यूअर्स and thank you thank so you. much thank for you. being here for yeah, this in the interview. middle of this promotion of the film i have an event to go to isliye main saadi wadi pehen ke thoda and and calling us at your residence <laughs> absolutely always welcome thank you once again <laughs> nandita uh, your movie zugato zugato i know it's a bit of a tongue twister <laughs> yes <laughs> so it took me a little while <laughs> yeah. but uh, is it a combination of zomato and swiggy I don't know. It's a legally approved word. It's a fictional word hmm. that I created for the app. आपको पता है ये जो सारे apps होते हैं वैसे भी इनके कोई मतलब तो होते नहीं है words के you know they are just something that has a ring to it. Hmm. So yeah, I chose Vigato. अब आपको जो समझना है समझ लीजिए wink wink. <laughs> Tell me how you went about it. I am guessing that the whole idea struck to you in that whole phase when we were sitting at home. जी बिल्कुल ड्यूरिंग कोविड वी वर ऑल सेइंग स्टे होम स्टे सेफ एंड वी नो दैट देर वर सो मेनी पीपल हु सो वलरेबल द माइग्रेंट वर्कर्स वर गोइंग बैक होम पीपल वर बीइंग थ्रोन आउट ऑफ देयर जॉब्स यू नो देर वाज अ लॉट ऑफ एंजाइटी अराउंड जस्ट हाउ टू मेक एंड्स मीट एंड देन दिस गिग इकोनॉमी केम ऑलमोस्ट लाइक अ सेवियर पीपल वर ऑर्डरिंग फूड ऑर्डरिंग थिंग्स एट सिटिंग एट होम एंड दीज पीपल वर ऑल्सो वलरेबल एंड येट and also this is not a traditional workspace where you have a colleague you have a boss aap logon se baat cheet karte hain you know hum logon hamare kisi bhi usual workspace mein sari cheeze hoti hain mm. here they are just with the app and their vehicle and they are just by themselves literally yeah. so i was just kind of almost curious it began with a curiosity that what is their life how do they navigate through it you know kabhi map nahi milta hai and what happens to a person like this so i started talking to some of the delivery people and in fact we have had many discussions on this dining table with many delivery riders and i just felt that this is a story we need to tell of new india of urban india of a world that we have created this is not just an indian story in that sense the context is here but i think the theme is very universal and also i feel like from our films the ordinary man is kind of vanishing unless something very sensational you know koi puri family ka kisi ne qatl kar diya कहीं कोई यू नो सम मेजर इवेंट स्टोरी देन ऑर्डिनरी पीपल्स लाइफ आर सीन अदरवाइज जस्ट अ स्लाइस ऑफ लाइफ डू यू एंड आई हैव द टाइम एंड द सेंसिटिविटी टू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नो एंड इट्स नॉट जस्ट द गिग इकोनॉमी वर्कर्स इट्स लाइक आर वॉचमैन द पीपल हु कम एंड क्लीन आर हाउस यू नो द वन हु टेक केयर ऑफ आर चिल्ड्रेन देर आर सो मेनी हु काइंड ऑफ कोट एंड कोट सर्व आस एंड वी नो सो लिटल अबाउट दैम सो दैट वॉज द ट्रिगर Did you take that into account? There's one aspect which I've always, uh, you know, been intrigued by, when these delivery boys, you know, uh, come home with food and packets, etc. Uh, zip, zap, zoom. You know, they have to reach at a particular time, yeah, time and if they reach within that stipulated time, the person who's Absolutely. ordered gets a discount. Yeah, we have kind of. Dead. And it's risky. I mean, one lives. of the scenes which actually dealt completely with this, we had to remove it, because sometimes, you know, even when I was writing, it was a bit of a challenge. कुछ शुरू में ऐसा लगता था कि इतनी सारी हमें इन्फॉर्मेशन मिली थी कि लगता था कि सब कुछ इसमें डाल दें बट देन इट बिकम्स टू मच ऑफ अ मैनुअल टू टेल यू व्हाट इज गोइंग ऑन एंड देन आई टू रिमूव अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स सम ऑफ द सीन दैट आई टेकन आई हैव टू रिमूव दोज इज वेल बट देर इज ऑफ कोर्स दिस एलिमेंट ऑफ कि हमें जल्दी है मैं तो इस फिल्म का नाम ही ये रखना चाहती थी कि हमें जल्दी है बिकॉज आई थिंक इट रेजोनेट्स विद एवरीबडी राइट लाइक एवरीबडी इज इन अ हरी इन फैक्ट इन वन ऑफ द वीडियोज दैट ही इज वॉचिंग the person is saying speed is everything but you know when we say speed is everything firstly for whom you know at what cost like so there are these questions and i feel that is why it has resonated with people who have watched it thus far which is only toronto festival ki audience ya busan korea jahan par you know indian audience they didn't even know who kapil was like it wasn't mm. they were coming for the reasons of the film और केरला ऑडियंसेज मतलब जितनी हमने अभी तक दिखाई है अभी तो रिलीज के बाद पता चलेगा बट सबको इट 
it kind of connected with them because they suddenly felt like yeah you know we have kind of just invisibilized so many people they're all there but they're just kind of hidden in plain sight and yeah. how do we just recognize and acknowledge you know koi hame inko hero banane ki zarurat nahi sab apne apne liye struggle kar rahe hain lekin kam se kam unka existence to hum acknowledge kare kya hum itne zyada selfish aur navel gazing ho gaye hain ki hame apni problem se hi fursat nahi milti hai so i think somewhere it did connect with the people but that is true we we are waiting for them constantly calling yeah. them kaha ho kab but the moment they come it's just it not even 15 seconds and you shut the door back yeah you don't even acknowledge you don't even thank them or you know i remember a friend was telling me that this person came late because you know he couldn't find the place and the minute he came and he said sorry madam wo mujhe jagah nahi mil rahi thi actually a wing b wing aisa kuch tha hmm. so he said ki wo main galat jagah chala gaya tha i'm sorry she didn't she herself was saying she said you know i didn't even hear what he said it didn't matter to me mm. i just launched into this mai tumko bata rahi hu beaving aur tum idhar ja rahe ho aur and the and she said later that i thought shit the first sentence he said i'm sorry ma'am i totally overlooked that sentence completely mm. you know and we all make human error is like to our as human you know agar ye shakespeare ne kaha hai kuch soch ke kaha hai so we all do but we are so unforgiving and uh, so i think it will somewhere prick at our conscience and that's all i think a film can really do but what made you go to orissa for this i mean i'm half odia and yeah. all my these life these guys exist all over the world <laughs> yeah, right yeah yeah and Bombay. all over india also bahut kisi bhi mujhe second tier city mein shoot karna tha lekin uh, main odia hu aur main zindagi bhar logon ko ye batati aa rahi hu ki nahi main bengali nahi hu because everyone thinks i'm bengali i'm half gujarati and half odia दिल्ली में पली बड़ी हूँ बम्बई में पैदा हुई थी अब वापस बम्बई आ गई हूँ इतने सालों बाद सो यू नो आई एम सर्ट ऑफ पैन इंडिया आई डन फिल्म इन टेन डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस आई फील कंफर्टेबल एनी वे इन द कंट्री आई हैव नेवर फेल्ड सो रीजनलिस्टिक और एनीथिंग बट ऑल माय लाइफ आई हैव से नहीं यार मैं बंगाली नहीं हूँ बिकॉज दे नो नथिंग अबाउट पीप मोस्ट पीपल डोंट नो एनी अबाउट उड़ीसा यू नो इफ आई टेल यू वॉट इज़ द कैपिटल ऑफ उड़ीसा वॉट इज़ द लैंग्वेज ऑफ यू नो पीपल ऑफ दैट प्लेस वॉट आर दे इवन कॉल्ड वॉट डू दे ईट 99% people almost don't know anything so i thought well this is my you know excuse to show them a little bit of odisha what does it look like mm. and it looks like at one level like any other city in india yet you can't recognize it because every place has its own you know it's a temple town and at the same time it's got malls and big roundabouts like nayi delhi so it's got a nice mix of what our largely our cities have become you know there's always this good part and then there is this slightly grungy part and and you'll hear odia i always like my actors to talk in the language they would normally talk fir aap mein bhi gujarati bhi thi aur urdu bhi thi aur hindi bhi thi aur angrezi bhi thi to isme bhi do odia characters jab baat karte hain to odia mein karte hain humne subtitles diye hain aur actually samajh aa jayega aapko agar nahi bhi aap padho na to aapko samajh aa jayega context ki wajah se aur odia itna zyada hindi se dur bhi nahi hai How did you go about for the casting, Kapil Sharma and Shana Goswami? Most people ask me, "How come Kapil?" And the second question is, "How come Bhuvneshwar?" And I always say, "Why not? Why not?" To both of them. But uh, Kapil ka to actually I don't have a TV as you can see. Me saath saal se mere yahan TV nahi hai, aur uh, maine koi vaise bhi unka koi show uske pehle ya uske baad dekha nahi tha. I knew his face like kahin aise bhi, but kahin dikh jata hai. And I knew that he's like the biggest comedian and all of that, but. he wasn't to be honest even in my radar of casting and um, i was trying to find someone who looks natural looks real looks like an ordinary person and yet can also deliver what it takes to play this character and the usual suspects because of covid all their dates had gone crazy i had met many people mm. but wo kuch ho nahi raha tha aur fir mujhe bhi kuch aisa surprise nahi lag raha tha mujhe lag raha tha i know what this person is going to do in the film you know sometimes there is a certain predictability to certain characters so then uh, something popped up on my screen with karan johar and kapil presenting some award function hmm. and i just saw this person i was like oh my god he's he has such a connect with people and more importantly even though he's talking as an ordinary man we know he's not an ordinary guy anymore but you believe that he's an ordinary guy when he talks about ki hum to 200 rupees ka petrol dalte hain hamari scooter mein aur you know some some joke he had made that day and uh, and he would laugh like you know i thought comedy show ka host hai to unko to kitna laugh karna padta hoga par abhi bhi inki hansi aankhon tak pahunchti hai matlab there is something real and vulnerable about this man so i messaged my casting director 
Her name is Sunny and I said, Sunny, give me Kapil Sharma's number. He immediately called me and said, No ma'am, that comedy, you don't see anything. You don't know, that's a comedy, that's a show, that's not going to do it, and that's not going to do it, and all kinds of things he rattled off. I said, just give me his number. I'm not offering, I'm just going to go and meet him. I just think he'll fit the character. For me, Manas is important. You know, I've not written it for somebody. So then I messaged him, he promptly messaged back, and I said, I want to meet you, it's a story. So he also asked me, he said, how did you think about this story for me? How did you think about this story? Nobody would even think of such a thing. And I said, well, I mean, I don't know. This is what I saw. I told him the story. And there he was. He said, I'm going to work with you. He said, no one will come to me with this story. And I'm in that story. So I said, well, you're in that story by choice. So don't complain about it. But yes, it's true that people may not think. Because I also thought that I am a very serious type and I am very serious type. If you are a very serious intellectual, you are also a very serious type. So I also thought that I am not thinking about any comedy or fun things. Because it is put on a label. And I am a hesitant actor. I have always been a hesitant actor. Yes, you are 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 a hesitant actor. That wasn't ever my dream or ambition. So I never pursued, I never tried to change my image. I never seeked out roles, etc. So I understood where he is coming from. And he told me that I have done a serious theatre. I wanted to become a singer from that way. I've become this with a lot of effort. And then I said, no, you read the script first. Don't just say yes. He read the script. And he actually reads a lot. He had watched Firak and Manto. I was quite surprised. Because, you know, I also had a certain perception, I have to admit, by whatever little I knew. So we both came from very different worlds. But actually, when we started talking, we had a lot of similar concerns. You know, I think he also cares about what, you know, like when he connects with people. Because I started seeing clippings of his on Insta because I needed to see something of his to know how is his body language, you know, what are his trends, how does he work. So I started seeing, in fact, I tell him that you have made an addict of Insta. I didn't do anything before, I didn't do social media. So yeah, it sort of worked out very organically and then of course I rehearsed with him. I was a little worried about his language because He's got a very thick Punjabi accent. I said, you say everything and you say everything so fast and fast. And he's supposed to be a person from Jharkhand who's come to Odessa. Obviously, those who work with a lot of people, Hindi is a little generic. But then, there was a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a slow delivery. So I said, are you sure you can do it? Because otherwise, I'd rather make him a Punjabi actor. I mean, a Punjabi character who's migrated. There are also people in Odessa. Then you do a wrong accent. That mm. won't work for me. Mm. So he says, no, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it. So I said, okay. Then I sent all of them to all the actors in Jharkhandi, and sent them to all the actors in Jharkhandi. And I rehearsed with them. I'm also, I have a flair for languages, having worked with, you know, different, and I'm also growing up with different languages. So I also sat with him, we worked on it, and uh, yeah, I, he was there. And he was excited, so was I. And Shahana I've worked with before in Firak. I've always loved her as an actor. And she's a lovely person. We've kept in touch. So, and somewhere there was, after I did Kapil, I was like, you know, it's Shahana. And there was something similar also, having spent some time with Kapil, I felt even the energies are similar. Dono bhoat chut chuti baato mein haste hai, easy hai, easy body language hai. And I have to say, I mean, a lot of these big stars, they're always worried ki mere opposite kaun hai. He not once asked me ki kaun karne wala hai. I just said, I'll get you a Pratima who's right for the role. But not once did he ask me who is, you know, and and also they both are very generous spirited. मतलब ये नहीं कि वो actor मेरा ये facing है, मेरा ये है इसका कुछ नहीं, बहुत chilled out थे और बाकी 95 percent casting हमने local की है, उनके बच्चों की, माँ की, दूसरे riders की, जितने भी हैं, शायद छः लोग बंबई से गए थे, बाकी सब वहीं के उड़िया actors हैं. Need to ask you, Nadita, how come you've been doing so few films as an actor. <laughs> you know, there's this once an actor and once in the limelight. Yeah. And I'm sure you've rejected films. Of Correct course, me if I'm wrong. Many, more than I've done, of yeah. course. So, but that's easy. That anybody who does a thode agar apka kuch bhi thoda sabi oda agar ho jai na, usse kam ka kam to apko bhot milega. But what's there the filter? No what's that big filter which, you know, <laughs> the residue is small. Why? Well, because uh, the big filter is that I want to be part of stories that resonate with me. You know, I never wanted to be an actor. It was, it was not so much for bread and butter. Usse phir bread and butter hone laga. 
but I, my background is in social work. I did my masters in social work, and then I was working with a few NGOs. Mm. So mm. Um, I was very happy in my life. I like to work with people. It's also good for people. Then the first film was made. Then suddenly, after that, many offers came. And I thought it was good for the shooting of the shooting because it was different people. I used to observe how people... Mm. But it's mm. deeply hierarchical, especially that time. It was very hierarchical the way films worked, especially in Bombay. And my social work background was all about making things democratic and, you know, keeping a sense of equality. And I was very uncomfortable being on the top end of that hierarchy because I didn't struggle to do some side roles, do some side roles, do some side roles, do some side You know, it's mm. like I straight did with um, fire. So, that's why I felt like I had a lot of pain that I don't know how to deal with it. We're coming to our own food, we're coming to our own food. That's all the time that an actor comes with. And then I realized that this is not my fault. And then I started also getting regional film offers. And I was like, Malayalam film, I don't speak it, I'll die, I'll have to keep it all. But I did one and then one thing led to the other. I did Hazar Chaurasi Ki Maa with Govind Nehlani and Jaya Ji in it. Then I did... हरी भरी ये फिल्म में शाम बनेगा, शाम बाबू के साथ जिसमें शवाना आजमी थी, अगेन एस एस सिस्टर इन लॉ बट इस टाइम आई वाज सुपोज्ड टू हेट हर, एंड यू नो सो देवर वेरियस फिल्म्स एंड देन आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग दिस अदर लैंग्वेज फिल्म्स वेर आई फेल्ड देवर वाज मोर ऑनेस्टी, मोर कन्विक्शंस, so, uh, yeah, so, I mean, you know, I've never seeked out projects. I've never said, there's no manager for so many years. You know, you're a journalist, you know, that today, there's nothing about PR. There's a lot of girls who are in PR, you know, you're in social media. So, this is what I need for the life of an actor's life. It's become a necessity. Over the years, it's grown, but it was always there. And I didn't want to be a part of it. Over the years, it's grown, but it was always there. And I didn't want to sort of play by those rules, but then mm. you have to be out of the game. You can't be in the game and then not play it by its rules. Mm. So I said, okay, we game not play game. You know, so I've never had a PR in these 26 years that I've been on the periphery of the industry and, you know, never had sort of a manager. Nothing is organic. Actually, nothing is natural. So if you don't want to do that, then obviously you'll be pushed to the side and so be it. But what we didn't see in that whole success and your fame, your skills were always recognized. But what we didn't see is, uh, you know, Nandita in glamorous attires, heroine, that, you know, <laughs> I mean, that's not such a heroine. difficult, but it's not such a difficult thing to do, right? I mean, it's yeah. about so the light, it's about the makeup. Things? No, but <laughs> not that, but I would love to do any role, hmm. but not because it's going to make me look a certain way or it's going to, you know, like say, acha meri image badal jayegi. Agar mujhe full-time actress hona hota, to shayad mujhe wo sab karna padta aur shayad mein karti bhi. Par kyunki mujhe actress banne ka aisa koi khas shock nahi tha, I was like, okay, you know, agar kuch aisa aega tha. I had those offers also. Yeah. Ki isme aapko glamorous, isme aapki image badal jayegi. Because yeah. some way everyone thought, yeah. yeah, because people almost thought that must be sour grapes, milta nahi hoga, dark hai, aur phir abhi aise role ke liye aapko thoda skin light karna padega, because you know, people accept nahi karte hai. So everyone thought that maybe it is not something she wants, but now she doesn't know how to get out of it. But you know, those working with, in 40 films, with so many different people, eminent, first timers, new, all kinds, you know, traveling with films to different festivals where you meet with international communities mm. of filmmakers and film lovers, being on jury with the best minds, those are precious experiences. Chahe logon ko dikhe na dikhe, wo experience to mere saath hamesha rahenge. That put you mm. in a different space. And that uh, different world. made me the person I am. Because mm. finally, mm. it is experiences, it is life, it is people, it is what you read, what you watch. All of that makes you, right? And this fame or money is like so transient. I'm not saying only philosophically, but in reality as well. How much do you need? I'm wearing 20 years old clothes, so I don't have any problem. Where are they going to wear so much clothes? So, you know, I mean, you don't have, you actually don't need a whole lot. If you keep your needs low, you need very little. That's how it happens. Then I started to do direction. In 2008, I went to Iraq. I didn't distribute it well, so I said, I'm not going to make a film now. Because I'd put in so much into it. And, and then... Look at the awards it won. 
Well, I mean, I mean, the good thing is because of OTT now, people are still watching those films, you know. And only, I feel time is the only test, really. You know, if something stands the test of time. So, in 2012, I was in Manto's centenary, so I started studying Manto's and I felt a deep resonance. And I felt, no, I'm going to make a film in Manto. And I started just reading. Actually, I just started reading and I was so drawn to it. And then I was like, yeah, I'm going to make a film. Not realizing that what a daunting task it was. You know, like, to be able to tell that story, I don't know Urdu, you know, it's a different world, etc. So, it was a long time, 6-7 years ago, I made a film in 2018, in the gap of 10 years. Then, in 2023, if COVID didn't happen, then maybe this film would come first. But everything kept getting delayed. So, the gap is definitely closing in. I've, in fact, already signed a film and I'm, I've started research on that. So, I, I think... After Zvigato, I felt direction is what I really want to do. Why am I hesitating? I enjoy it. And, you know, despite the fact it's so much more consuming and challenging, it's so special to be able to think of a story and to be able to see how it all comes together. And there are challenges to both. Everything is not in your control just because you're a director, producer, writer, whatever. Challenges to both. But you have been a brave woman. I mean, <laughs> uh, shifting to your no. personal life also, you took a brave decision, you know, by. Actually, these are not bravery. Separating Honestly. from Subodh, be, <laughs> being a single parent to your son. Yeah, but if you're convinced about something, I feel courage just follows. You don't, you don't seek courage. You know, you just. If you have that conviction, just ke baare mein aapko sahi mein vishwas hota hai ki mujhe ye karna hai. Ya ye mujhe karna hai because of this reason. If your reasons are compelling, you will find the courage to do it. So, has it been tough, uh, since you said challenging, but has right. the challenge been tough to be a single sure. parent? I mean, of course it is challenging, no question, but ask people, there are so many farcical marriages too. Ask the women who are in their marriages. I know enough women who have said that I, it feels like I'm pretty much raising my child. You know, where the man is, because we live in a patriarchal system. Mm. A lot of the men don't really partake in raising a child enough. Mm. You know, they have very specific roles to play and they do that. Mm. That too is a help, but it shouldn't be a help. It's your child together, you know, mm. you should be doing it together. So, sabke apne apne, there are advantages, disadvantages. All I know is that marriage as an institution is not something that I endorse or I believe in any mom and jinke shadiyan bahut achi hai and bless them and that's because they have a good relationship because wo pyar wo mutual respect wo caring hai it's not because of that paper what the society legally wants us to do mm. you know so i think relationships are important honesty for me is more important than keeping a farcical i know lots of those relationships jo bhi shaadi they are in their marriages but what kind of relationships they have I and Subodh have a very amicable relationship, you know, and my child is, you know, is definitely something is the most precious thing in my life and his happiness, you know, supersedes everything else. And it's important for children to see their mother work. So, of course, it's a juggle for me. I've gone through my phases of deep guilt, especially when I was making I had just separated. His first day of spring break was my first day of shoot with uh, Gurdas Man, you know, and... Uh, वो थे और ढाई सौ विलेजेस थे जो हम लोग 45 डिग्री के हीट में शूट कर रहे थे और मेरा बच्चा मेरे कमर के साथ ऐसा अटका हुआ था एंड यू नो बट तू थीज़ आर एक्सपीरियंसेस मैंने भी बचपन में मेरे माँबाप हम लोग तब कहाँ नैनी नैनी कुछ नहीं था माय फादर इज़ अ पेंटर मदर अ राइटर हमको हर जगह लेके जाते थे तो मैं उसके साथ फेस्टिवल में भी जूरी में भी जब रही हूँ उसके उसको साथ लेके गई हूँ जब मैं मैं तो अब कबीर मंच यहाँ पर ही कार्टर रोड में कबीर का प्रोग्राम हुआ था वो छोटा सा था जा ही नहीं रहा था मुझे स्टेज पे बोलने जाना था मैंने कहा उसको मैंने गोदी में लेके मैंने उसको बोला तो मुझे तो लगा अच्छा इसके कान में कबीर जा रहा है इससे बढ़िया बात क्या हो सकती है सो देर आर चैलेंजेस बट देर आर ऑल्सो ग्रेट रिवॉर्ड्स बट वॉट मेर यू टेक दिस डिसीजन आई मीन रॉन्ग No, that is a very personal thing and that's a very long meandering thing. It's, it's not never a one thing. Hmm. You know, sometimes two good people also feel that we are not really amicable. We had a little bit of a wedding in Jaldbazi because uh, we had just known each other for three months and then I remember Subodh telling me, he said, if you, have, if you have a child, you'll never regret. If you don't have one, you might. And I used to think, I don't want to have a child. He glorified it. 
you know that every woman must have a child and i still believe that i know a lot of friends who don't have a child and they are just as happy mm -hmm. so aisa kuch i'm not saying everything is for everyone but he told me this and something and because i'm such a kya bolte hain you know i really believe in experiences to mere liye wo ek aisa ho gaya ki chalo isko bhi experience karte hain little do you know that one it's not an experience it's a, a lifetime uh, commitment it's like it's like part of your being you know it's like aapka ek hath hai so every small and big decision you take impacts the child so yeah i mean we felt that i just felt that it wasn't going in the way it should have been and like friends hum bachpan pe bahut hamare gehre dost hote then we realize ki nahi hamare raste alag alag ho gaye hain and there is no animosity you just they are not your friends anymore hmm. you know so there is nothing there is we have made this hawa about it and that's why i think so many women still continue to stay in even in difficult sometimes even toxic marriages maybe some men too i don't know but the point is honesty for me is important you know i'd rather have an honest relationship and tell the world i don't it's not it's nobody's really business but i'd rather have an honest relationship with whoever not just your spouse or whatever whether it's with your parents whether it's with your friends aapne meri kaam ki bhi kahani sun li life ki bhi kahani sun li ab main to sirf aap logon se ye guzarish karungi watch zwigato <laughs> dil se banayi hui film hai and uh, if you like it tell others and if you don't like it you have as much right to criticize it so you know we have all been empowered in a way through the social media but um, the film will um every time somebody tells me about the film i feel they tell me more about themselves than the film kyunki film mein to acha bura sab kuch hai ye na best film hai na worst film hai kahin beech mein but ye aapki sensitivity i mean aapki sensitivity pe hai ki aap kin cheezon se move hote ho aap chote chote loss of dignity aapko you know disturb karte hain ya nahi if they do then you will be moved by it you know if you if you are ready to give one hour 45 minutes to just zero in on someone's life that you otherwise do not know if you want to take that time out then go take it out thank you bye i wish you all the best thank for you all so the future Vicky. assignments thank you and so much and of course zugato <laughs> yes thanks a lot thank you